Hello everyone, my name is Yusuf Elber and I will talk about acetaminophen poisoning which is commonly known as paracetamol. The acetaminophen has analgesic and antipyretic effect but weak anti-inflammatory properties. It's work through inhibition of cyclooxygenase, which is known as COX. It has weak COX-1 and COX-2 inhibitory function in the peripheral tissue, but more active on COX in the brain. COX catalyzes the formation of the prostaglandin and other mediators that are important in the processing and signaling of pain and control of the thermoregulatory center of the brain. So, the acetaminophen will inhibit this pathway. Pharmacokinetics. Oral acetaminophen has excellent bioavailability. Its peak plasma concentration occurs within 30 to 60 minutes. The half-life in plasma is about two hours after therapeutic doses. Metabolism. At the therapeutic dose, it's mainly metabolized in the liver by conjugation with the sulfate or glucuronate. And 5% of it is metabolized by enzyme CYP2E1. And the remainder is secreted and changed in the urine. At overdose, liver glutathione reserve get existed and toxic metabolite accumulate and react with the hepatocyte and the protein cause cellular damage. Acetaminophen poisoning. It's the most common form of poisoning. It is severity dependent on the dose. The effect of toxicity of paracetamol divided into hepatic toxicity and non-hepatic toxicity, which include renal failure, cardiotoxicity, pancreatic toxicity, and finally, hypersensitivity reaction. Therapeutic and toxic dose. Therapeutic dose is about 10 to 15 mg per kg, while the toxic dose, more than 7.5 gram, cause minimal toxicity. If more than 15 gram, around 30 tablets, it cause severe toxicity. In adult, Toxic dose is about 150 mg per kg, while in children, toxic dose is about 200 mg per kg. We have not heard. In prisons of chronic disease or malnutrition, even 2 grams of paracetamol can be a toxic dose. So, hepatotoxicity. In adult, hepatotoxicity may occur after ingestion of single dose of 10 to 15 grams of acetaminophen. Doses of 20 to 25 or more are potentially fatal. Which people are at high risk? Firstly, conditions of CYP enzyme induction. Example, heavy alcohol consumption, those on anticonvulsant drug. Second, fasting or malnutrition. Third, with pre existing liver disease for those suffering from anorexia nervosa and other eating disorders and finally HIV infection. Clinical presentation. Most patients who have taken an overdose of acetaminophen will initially be asymptomatic as a clinical evidence of end organ toxicity often does not manifest until 24 to 40 eight hours after an acute ingestion. So, as we may, I mentioned before, minimum toxic dose for a single ingestion posing significant risk of severe hepatotoxicity are as follows. For adults, 7.5 to 10 gram, while for children, 200 milligram per kg in healthy children aged one to six years. Stage of intoxication. What are the stages and how the patient present to us? Stage 1. From time of ingestion to 24 hours. Patient typically has anorexia, nausea, vomiting, malaise, and pallor. If we do laboratory tests for the patient, usually are normal. Stage 2. From 24 to 72 hours. 
the patient has abdominal pain and liver tenderness. But the result of laboratory tests began to be abnormal, which are increased in serum transaminase here, increase in bilirubin, and in prothrombin time. Also, here we have nephrotoxicity. Maybe event result in oliguria. So the patient have also oliguria in stage 2. Stage 3, from 72 to 96 hours. Also, this is stage known as hepatic stage because in this stage, the hepatic damage will occur. So, also we have severe signs of hepatotoxicity, which includes, first, plasma, ALT, and AST level often above 10,000 international units per liter, also increase in a prothrombin time or INR. Also, we have hypoglycemia, lactic acidosis, and a total, total bilirubin concentration above 70 micromole per liter. Also, death most commonly occur in this stage, usually from multi-organ system failure. And finally, the stage 4 from 4 days to 2 weeks uh, is the recovery stage. Patient who survives stage 3 enter a recovery phase that usually begins by day 4 and is complete by 7 days after overdose. However, transient renal failure may develop 5 to 7 days after ingestion. So we have back pain, proteinuria, and hematuria. Complete hepatic recovery may take 3 to 6 months after ingestion of the first dose. Here we have the Romac Matthew nomogram. What is this? The nomogram is used to interpretation of the acetaminophen concentration in micrograms per milliliter in relation to time in hours after ingestion and is predictive of possible hepatotoxicity after single acute ingestion of acetaminophen. What's that mean? This is acetaminophen nomogram. At the left, we have acetaminophen concentration, while at the bottom, we have time and hour. Also, we have two lines. The purple one show therapeutic concentration, while the yellow one show excessive intake of acetaminophen, which cause poisoning. Approach to the patient. Firstly, we have A, B, C, D, E, airway, breathing, circulation, uh, disability, and exposure. Secondly, history history of ingestion of the acetaminophen, examination, and investigations. Investigations. What type of investigations we need? Firstly, we need liver function tests, ALT, AST, bilirubin, and alkaline phosphatase. Second, prothrombin time with international normalized ratio, glucose level, renal function test, lipase, and amylase in cases of pancreatic toxicity. Also, we need serum human chorionic gonadotropin, but in female of childbearing age only. Also, we need salicylate level in patient with concern of co-ingestion, arterial blood gases and ammonia in clinically compromised patients. Also, we need additional studies, uh, which include urinalysis to check for hematuria and proteinuria to check if there is nephrotoxicity. Also, we need ECG to detect additional clues for co-ingestion to also to know if there is cardiac toxicity. So, what are the options of the treatment? We have three options. Firstly, gut decontamination by activated charcoal or elimination of acetaminophen by what? By exchange transfusion arteriovenous hemofiltration or by hemodialysis. Also, we have antidotes which include methionine and N-acetylcysteine. Thank you.